Hi, I'm Dr. Fritz uh, with Terrasite Dental Academy. Uh, I want to just briefly go over a new, uh, a new piece of equipment that we recently got here, which uh, increases our safety measures and decreases the chances of needle sticks. Uh, and this is called a safety syringe. So I'd like to show you how this works. I don't know of anybody else who's using this right now besides us, but this is something I think everybody needs to know about uh, because it is a good, uh, a good safety measure and it is recommended by OSHA nowadays. So let me show you how this works. First of all, you're all familiar with the standard syringe where we screw on the needle tip. Load an anesthetic cartridge. Remove the tip from the needle. Do our injection. And now we have a now we have a problem in that. How do we handle this uh, contaminated syringe, which has been in somebody's mouth, you know, without uh, sticking ourselves with the sharp end of the needle tip? There. There's lots of different devices out there as you know uh, for recapping we don't ever want to do this in this type of manner there that's the easiest way to stick yourself so one common method is to use the scoop method pick it up like that then you can tighten the cap there are other devices that will hold the cap for you uh, in some type of vertical position then you can just come and cap it that way but there is a new device which is recommended by OSHA which, uh, when using this one, we no longer have to worry about recapping needles. It's called a safety syringe. Comes prepackaged. Uh, this particular one is the same as the blue short 30 gauge needle that we've been using in the past. It has blue writing on it. Plus, as you can see, it says 30 gauge. It also comes in the, the comparable one to the yellow needle tip that we've used in the past, which is the 27 gauge long, and you can see it's written on the package also, besides having the, the yellow printing. So we have both the short 30 gauge needle and the 27 long gauge needle that we're used to. Uh, this is the, the basis of the syringe here, and this particular part is reusable. It is also sterilizable uh, by autoclave. So what we do is open the package, take out the tip, which as you can see, this is our 30 gauge short, which still has the blue tip on it, uh, similar to the other needle tip that we've been used to using in the past. The difference here is that we have a clear sliding barrel, which is going to cover the, the needle tip of the syringe, so we will now no longer have to recap anything. So the way this works is the other hollow cylinder down here is where the anesthetic cartridge slides into. We then put this onto the handle, just snap it straight on there, pull back the cylinder. Then when we're ready to use this for anesthesia, we take the cap off. You can see again the 30-gauge 30, the 30 short needle. We then will place this into the patient's mouth, do our anesthesia. Once you've actually injected just a few drops of this, you then will have engaged the rubber stopper so you can aspirate and make sure that you're not injecting into a vessel which is important, of course, on the block anesthesia. So we go ahead and inject our anesthetic. It has a pretty good tactile sense to it also, and you can see right through the clear area of the barrel exactly where your stopper is as you're injecting. Now when we're done and we have a contaminated needle, all we have to do is slide this clear plastic shield down and until it clicks. You'll actually feel and hear a little click when it reaches that point. You can see now there is no way that you can stick yourself with that needle. Now the only other question here is what if you need additional anesthetic? Uh, either the patient doesn't get numb or if you have other areas that you need to inject. 
Well, when you engage just that first click on there, it is still reusable at this point. So just pull back on the stopper. Withdraw the cartridge. Insert another cartridge into the barrel. Re-engaging the handle, now you can withdraw the cover and you're ready to inject in a different area or to supplement the anesthesia in the first area. So again, we would do just that very thing. Inject our anesthetic. Withdraw. Again, pull that clear shield down. If you think there's any chance that you may need to reuse this, um, if you would need another cartridge, for instance, then just snap it into that first position. Then you, you'd be able to reuse this tip one more time. If you're done and you, you know that there's no further need for anesthetic, pull that clear plastic shield down one more, just a little bit more. And you heard it click there a second time. When you reach that second position there, you're done. This can no longer be pulled back. At the end of the procedure, again, take it out of the barrel. At this point, you can leave the cartridge right in there because there's no reason to pull that back out. And this entire piece right here is disposed of uh, into a sharps container. So you need a pretty good sized sharps container, as you can see, because that's a lot bigger than just a needle tip in the, that we've had in the past. But this whole piece goes right into the sharps container and is disposed of in accordance with your state laws at, the, at that point. Again, the handle is reused. Uh, it can be autoclaved. And uh, one of these comes with each box of the disposable uh, safety syringe tips that you get there. So this is the new OSHA recommended safety syringe. And that's how it works. So thank you.